Let's take a look at this problem. We got natural log of x minus natural log of x minus 3 is equal to 2. And I want to solve it. Step 1. Get everything with the log on one side and numbers on the other side. Well, that's done. Step 2. Use properties of log to get a single log. Well, we have log of something minus log of something. Subtraction becomes division. So this becomes natural log of x over x minus 3 is equal to 2. Step 3. Use definition log to rewrite an exponent form. We need to identify our b, p, and q. Remember, if you have natural log, your base is automatically e. And then what follows the log is your q, and the other side is your p. Now our exponent form is b to the p is equal to q. Well, we said b was e to the p, which is 2, equals q, which is x times x minus 3. Now step 4 is to solve for x. Now this is a rational equation. A rational equation, you got an equals and you got a rational. You got a fraction, single fraction, at least one single fraction, and specifically you have x's in the denominator. Uh, to solve this, of course there's no parentheses, but our uh, next step is to factor all of our denominators. We don't have anything to factor, and multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. Since we only have one denominator, that is our LCM. So we're going to multiply both sides by x minus 3. Okay, when you do that, these x minus 3 is going to cancel. Over here, I use distributive property. e squared times x is e squared x. e squared times negative 3 is negative 3 e squared equals x. We're trying to get the uh, x's uh, by themselves um, on one side and then everything else in the other. So I'm going to take this negative 3e e squared, move it to the right side, and I'll take this x and move it to the left side. So we got e squared x minus x is equal to 3e e squared. Remember, you take anything cross or equals, your sign changes. So the x became a negative x, and the negative 3e e squared became a positive 3e e squared. So we got the x's by themselves on the left side. Now we want to get a single x, and the easiest way to get a single x in this problem is to factor out an x. Sometimes you combine together like terms. When we factor out an x, that gives us e squared minus 1 equals 3e e squared. And then we want to get uh, x by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by what's behind our x, which is e squared minus 1. And when we do that, the e squared minus 1's cancel. And we got x is equal to 3e e squared over e squared minus 1. If I plug that back in here, um, it gives us, uh, it doesn't give us log of a negative number, so that would be your answer. It doesn't matter what it gives you exactly, you just need to make sure it doesn't give you a log of a negative number. 